This is how to become a compliance analyst with no experience and why it is the best non-technical role in cybersecurity. So I'll be referring to this role as a compliance analyst or a GRC analyst. This is someone who helps organizations manage their governance risk and compliance initiatives to make sure that companies are following regulatory requirements, any sector specific compliance regulations, as well as properly managing risk and following industry best practices. Part of your job is also to manage the recurring annual audits that your company undergoes on a regular basis. This will highly depend on what sector that you're in, but anytime companies deal with sensitive data or customer data in general, there's a very high chance that they're going to need to undergo future audits to be able to stay compliant with your customers. This is especially one of the most important roles in the company because you are directly tied to the company's bottom line in terms of attracting new customers and retaining existing customers because of all the requirements and regulations out there for companies to work with other organizations that have undergone their SOC 2 audit or their ISO audits or HIPAA if you're in healthcare or PCI if you're in finance or even TSACs if you're in the automotive industry. Every industry essentially has their own set of standardized audits and certifications that companies will want to get to be able to get more customers and in turn grow their business, which is why the GRC team or the governance risk and compliance team is one of the most important teams that are directly tied to a company's bottom line along with their sales team. Plus the fact that the GRC team is typically very closely working with senior leadership, the cybersecurity team, the sales team, as well as the engineering teams to be able to collect that evidence and we'll delve a little bit deeper into what your day-to-day -day work may look like a bit later in this video. Alright, so how can you start a career as a GRC analyst with no previous background in this field? I recommend getting started with Techpreneurs Club, which is an online program that teaches you everything you'll need to know from start to finish, where you can come in with no prior background or knowledge in anything GRC. They also have an in-house internship program that gets you the relevant hands-on experience for you to put on your resume and be able to talk about with future employers during an interview with the hiring manager or speaking directly to the in-house GRC team. They'll teach you the foundational concepts, teach you the skills that you'll need to know, get you that hands-on experience, and not only teach you the material, but also prepare you for the job. And specifically, as part of Techpreneurs Club, they'll also help you apply to the jobs themselves, where they'll send out your job applications on your behalf to the GRC jobs that are relevant for you and give you all the resources that you'll need to get that first job as a GRC analyst. So far, since the start of their program, all of their graduates have been able to find a job after graduating from Techpreneurs Club, which I really do think is an insane statistic. Their alumni work at Meta, Atlassian, Vanguard, and more, but also speaks to how well they prepare their students for a job in GRC, even coming in with no background and no experience. And once you start getting interviews, help you prepare for the interviews, do mock interviews with you, so that at the end of it, there's no reason for you to not be employed as a GRC analyst after completing the program. This is the first program of its kind that I've seen that not only helps you with the foundational knowledge, acquiring the skills you need, as well as the experience you need through an in-house internship, but also helps you apply to jobs on your behalf, help you prepare for the interviews that you get, help you with negotiations and everything that you need to finally get to the finish line and getting yourself into that first role as a GRC or compliance analyst. This is one of the most sought after non-technical roles in cybersecurity, and I really do think it's one of the most important roles in any organization. Having personally been a part of an internal auditing team in my first cybersecurity rotation program, as well as in my last role where we were undergoing external audits, which really gives you an idea of how important it is to have a good compliance team. And with more and more regulations, and standards, and certifications that are impacting every sector, there are also going to be more companies hiring for compliance analysts and GRC analysts to undergo those audits and get those certifications. Not to mention that the average salary for a GRC analyst is $102,000 per year, which is a huge perk, especially because this is a non-technical cybersecurity role, and I know many compliance professionals are making much more than this median salary. So if you're interested in starting a career as a GRC analyst, and again, the fact that all of your graduates so far have been able to land a job in GRC after graduating from the program, it really speaks to how well Techpreneurs Club will prepare you for the skills that you'll need on the job. So if you're interested, 
interested in starting a career in GRC, I'd highly recommend checking out the link in my description for more information about their program and how they can help you start a career in cybersecurity. Alright, so now that we've covered what a GRC analyst is, let's go over what a potential day-to-day -day may look like. So part of this will also depend on whether or not you have an ongoing audit or are currently undergoing an external audit for a certification. You might be helping establish frameworks for governance, risk, and compliance, whether that be policies, procedures, how certain processes should be documented, as well as being a part of any important decision-making processes that deal with user data, privacy, encryption, essentially everything that touches InfoSec also needs to be reviewed by the GRC team or the compliance team so that they're able to make sure that any new features or requirements also align with future audits or ongoing audits that are currently happening. Another part of your role may be risk compliance, or maybe you're managing a risk register, reviewing new risks with development teams or engineering teams, as well as resolving or mitigating certain risks or writing up risk accepts for any risks that are accepted by the business. A big part of your job is also staying up to date with any compliance, laws, regulations, or new requirements that come in from the local government, the state government, the federal government, anything that comes in from your sector specifically or a specific audit that your company is undergoing and making sure that your company is aligning with those new requirements and making sure that you're spreading awareness to the development teams or any teams that are involved in those processes. So training and awareness is another big part of your job to ensure that other teams know how important that audits and certifications are for the business as well as even internal audits, in which case sometimes companies will perform an internal audit before a third party conducts an external audit. All right, something else that's important to familiarize yourself with is to learn about the audits and certifications for the specific sector that you're going into. A great place to start here is probably with the SOC 1, SOC 2 audits, as well as ISO compliance. If you also know that you're going into a specific sector, there are definitely going to be more sector-based certifications out there, but just getting familiar with how these audits run, the terms that are used, the requirements, as well as the auditory evidence that are required for each related standard is going to be important. And knowing this prior to going into any interviews for GRC roles is really gonna help you stand out against other candidates, especially if you're already taking that experience that you've gained from Techpreneurs Club. On top of certification, you should also familiarize yourself with laws and regulations like GDPR, California Privacy Act, SOCs, HIPAA, depending on the sector that you're most interested in. Another big part of this is networking, whether it be joining professional organizations, attending GRC conferences, or working with a mentor, it's really important for you to also connect with other professionals in the GRC space to not only be able to network, but also to keep up with what's new in the industry. There are certifications for GRC professionals. A lot of them are more so catered towards mid-level professionals, so you don't necessarily need a certification to get that first job in GRC, but eventually as you move up in your career and as you start applying to more senior level roles, then that may be when you start considering certifications, some popular ones for GRC analysts and more senior level roles like compliance managers include the CISSP or the Certified Information Systems Security Professional Certificate, the CISA Certification or the Certified Information Security Auditor Cert, as well as the CRIS Certificate, the Certification in Risk and Information Systems Control. And of course, another important thing is to make sure that you can get some experience using the tools that GRC professionals use on the job. Typically, a lot of these tools aren't necessarily technical tools, but are specifically around reporting, documenting, maintaining auditory evidence, tools used for gathering evidence. This could be a third-party vendor or even a custom script built by your development team to be able to extract a certain type of evidence on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, whatever is required as part of your company's processes for a specific auditory requirement, as well as typical project management tools and communication tools. Another big part of this is the fact that you may very well be the one leading auditory calls, evidence gathering, connecting with stakeholders of all levels from senior leadership who may not be as technical as well as developers who are very technical. This means that you have to be able to communicate effectively with a wide range of people as well as different levels of understanding required from different teams. And of course, there may also be situations where you'll have to get familiar with certain IT systems or third-party tools or third-party vendors or internal tools that your company uses to get hands-on in collecting evidence or validating certain information. 
So while a GRC analyst may not necessarily be a technical hands-on, there are still going to be aspects of your job where you may have to learn at a high level what a certain tool does or how to use it as part of an audit or compliance requirement. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to check out Techpreneurs Club to get started in your career as a GRC analyst and how they can help you achieve your cybersecurity career goals. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. You can learn more about Techpreneurs Club and signing up for more information using the link in my description. And if this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!